Hello YouTube and today I'm going to do a review on the CyanogenMod 7.1 ROM for the Motorola HVX 4G so this was ported by the HVX dev team and not supported by the official CyanogenMod dev team so it is a port but it is fully functional except for fingerprint scanner and web top because those are not native to CyanogenMod so let's just turn it on right now let's see how long it will take to boot up because as everybody knows, Cyanogen Mod is one of the most popular ROMs for any for the Android like phones and stuff like that. And the second one is Me UI. So that's right there. But Cyanogen Mod I think is number one. At least in my opinion. Everybody has different opinions and there it is. As you guys know, the old classic animation of Cyanogen Mod. Love that Android on a skateboard and it booted up quickly let's unlock the phone as you can see it is really fast that's why I love CyanogenMod I did have the dark side ROM for the Atrix on here but it came with the Motorola launcher it is laggy so I just installed this instead remember to always use the latest clockwork mod recovery um, I used ROM racers on XDA so you can get that. Well, you can see it is a fast experience when you're scrolling because it does use ADW Launcher. And as it does have many other stuff that regular CyanogenMod has like Theme Chooser. So you can choose your themes right here. And let's just choose, I already have this one. Let's just choose this one, Apply. Okay. Um, okay, what about the alarms? And there we go. And I think this is updated to Android Gingerbread 2.3.7. Yes, I am correct. So it is, I guess, I guess, in my opinion, the latest version. I think I'm not sure, but I can't wait until CyanogenMod 9 comes out, which will be at least I think something will happen with them. Probably a nightly build. In two months, because they did post that on their Twitter where they say check back in two months, CyanogenMod 9. Because, as many of you know, the Ice Cream Savage source code was released. So, that's awesome. So let's see, it comes with the standard stock gingerbread feel to it. And the fastness of it. I'm not sure if that's a word, but... Okay, so let's see, it is clocked at 1 gigahertz. I think that's normal. Yes, that's normal. And you can't overclock it, at least the processor Tegra 2 to at least 1.4 gigahertz. I'll keep it at the stock gigahertz. So, as you can see, it is super smooth, even with wallpapers. You got your notification center right here with little widgets up here, like GPS, as you can see up there. Okay, Bejewel downloading for free on the Amazon App Store. You guys should get that game. That game is awesome. It's free right now on the Amazon App Store. And it also comes with the, I think this is the stock camera if I'm correct. As you can see right there, it is the stock camera. And it also comes with um, the new gallery app. So if you click on it, you can see it has that cool new little gallery right there. <laughs> And let's see, I think this is standard text app. Okay. And of course, before, when you get this ROM, you will not get any Google apps on it because, due to copyright issues that Google had with the dev team for Xyanogenmon, that they couldn't put any Google apps. So you gotta go flashing in clock Clockwork Mod Recovery to get the market access and other Google apps. So, yeah. And then let's see, so that's, I think that's it, and then, yeah, 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 and then some funny stuff in there. Um, overall, like I said before, it's a fast experience. This is not recommended for a new user to Android, as you will probably not have enough experience flashing ROMs. This is only for an advanced user that knows how to flash ROMs and use the Android operating system very well. So that's pretty much it for the Cyanogen Mod 7 review ROM. 
for the Motorola HX4G. And I hope to see you guys in the next video, which would probably be in the next few days. So, peace.